Hi guys, PJ here with the PC release of Aliens Dark Descent. This, in my opinion, is actually a very, very good version of the game. Yeah. So, it's basically a, an overhead view, 3D thing, click point type adventure. Uh, some fast reaction there. bits Secure are needed. You've watch. seen the type of thing before, All quite cruise. a few different uh, this versions of this. One. However, they have captured the atmosphere pretty good and I do like the art style. But where are we? Well, we're at where the game runs on this system. This is a GTX 1660 Ti, 6GB of VRAM and a Ryzen 2700X, which is a 8-core, 16-thread CPU. We've got 16GB of RAM and we're installed on a M2 SSD. Windows is installed on another SSD and we are recording to a third SSD, so there's no slowdown or anything. Settings on this game are a bit Billy Basic and when you do the auto detect for this system it sort of said at the top low but it was a mixture of mediums and highs so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. The game does feature AMD FSR and also resolution scaling should you wish however on this particular system I don't really think you're going to use it. Now I've played most of the first section of this game and it was absolutely flawless. There's no crashes, there's no stutters, no bugs or anything like that. I've not come across any problems at all and that's roughly an hour's worth of gameplay. The mapping system uh, reminded me a bit like Ripley's hand scanner in the movies where you've got a ping showing where the alien is. So that was quite useful. The actual game itself will run on an 8GB machine, we're currently using just over 7GB and VRAM we are 4.3GB so anything, you know, well 6GB and up will run this game very very well. FPS although not that important on this type of game, it's still nice to have a, a smooth sort of adventure. Cutscenes skyrocket, as you can see, and there is an awful lot of cutscenes. It's a very, very cinematic game. It's sort of a small portion of gameplay and then a ton of cinematics. It's just the way the game is, but it does set the mood very well, and the art style, like I was saying, is very good. So on your AMD Super FX, you can even set it to disable there, and I was running native res of 1440p in full screen. Didn't really have a problem with the frame rate. You're not going to notice if this bounces up and down under 60 because it's you know the type of game that it is. CPU utilization is very low to be honest with you. It's hardly touching the CPU. You've got a couple of cores that will sort of ramp up to 50 or so, but nothing major. Um, as for the GPU, yes, when you put it on this setting, which is no AMD FSR and epic settings across the board we are GP limited. It's 99% usage though, as you can see, hovering between 40 and 65 FPS. Obviously no V-Sync on for the purposes of recording. But overall, it ran very, very smoothly. Should you want a locked um, 60 on this game, and like I say, I can stress, I don't think it's that important because of the way the game plays. I would say a mixture of mediums and high would be fine drop down your shadows to medium and maybe drop down your environment detail to medium. Other than that, you could leave pretty much everything on high at 1440p and not have a problem. I've also tried this at 1080p and as you can imagine, 60 frames per second never budged. It was way higher than that uh, on this particular system. It was sort of 70, 80 FPS. And just as a footnote, I've tried this on a RTX 2060, six gigabyte card with an Intel i7 CPU. And well, that was very nice. It did seem to use the available extra resources of the card. And we were getting around 90 FPS with that system. So give you a rough idea. Benchmark though, bottom line, yes, this game plays well. Yes, I would say it's well optimised. Uh, the graphics certainly look good. Sound is a bit lacking. Uh, I was a big fan of Alien Isolation when it came out. Captured the movie very, very well. I uh, completed the game a couple of times. Absolutely loved it on PC. You know, the effects were through the roof for its age, for its time, still stands up well today. And the sound was on point. This has good sound, 
but sadly it's only stereo it could have done with that binaural sound you know if you're wearing a headset and it, it sort of pings from ear to ear like on hellblade etc uh, that would have been good or maybe surround sound would have been nice i just feel that the sound is a little bit lacking for the type of game it is and the, the sort of picture they're trying to put over you know the, the desperation and you know the actual side of the movie side of it so that's lacking language support's good and i would say overall the other options are pretty good as well controller you can use your playstation 5 controller or your xbox series controller both work uh, very well and the buttons show up correctly and are correctly mapped so that's not a problem when i tried the dual sense controller everything worked as it should there was no bugs no glitches no problems keyboard mouse works and i would say that is probably the premium way to play this it's click and point so it's click go there click do something very good for keyboard mouse as you can imagine but if you're on big picture mode you know in steam or whatever or you've got this plugged into a big tv controller works equally as well it's not really a, a downgrade as such so yes i recommend the game if you like this type of game you're in for a treat um i'm not too great at this type of game but i did enjoy what i've played of it so far so uh, guys with that i'll wrap this video up you can see how it runs thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you again on the next pc release bye for now